Hey everybody, good, happy Thanksgiving here in America. It is Thanksgiving Day, and it's a day we set aside to think, be thankful to God for all that we have, and I know that, know that no matter where you are, you can be thankful any day of the week. So I want to say happy Thanksgiving. Today is November 28th, and here's today's daily devotion. Rest, rest in the deep assurance of my unfailing love. Let your body, mind, and spirit relax in my presence. Release into my care anything that is troubling you so that, so that you can focus, focus your full attention on me. Be awed by the, vast, by the vast dimensions of my love for you, wider, longer, higher, and deeper than anything you know. Rejoice that this marvelous love is yours forever. The best response to this glorious gift is a life, is a life steeped in thankfulness. Every time you thank me, you, you acknowledge that I am your Lord and, and provider. This is, this is proper. This is the proper stance for a child of God, receiving with thanksgiving, bringing me the sacrifice of gratitude, and watch, watch to see how much I bless you. And today we have three verses. First verse is 1 Peter 5, 7. Cast all, cast all your Cast all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Next is Ephesians 3, 16 through 19. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with, with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that, I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the saints. To grasp how wide and how long and how high and how deep is the love of Christ, and to know that, and to know this, that love surpasses knowledge, that you you may be filled, filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. And next is Psalm 107, 21 and 22. Let them give thanks to the Lord for His unfailing love and His wonderful deeds for men. Let them sacrifice thank thank offerings. And tell of his works with songs of joy. Now we read the wonderful word of God. Psalm 144 is today, and we are in this, this is the title. My rock and my fortress. And that's what the word of God says. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for the battle. He is my steadfast love in my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield and, and he in whom I take refuge, who subdues people under me. O oh Lord, what is man that you regard him, or the son of man that you think of him? Man is like a breath, his days are like a passing shadow. Bow your, bow your heavens, O oh Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains so that they may smoke. Flash forth the lightning and scatter them, send out your arrows, and rout them. Stretch out your hand from on high, rescue me, and deliver me from the, from the many waters, from the hand of the foreigners, whose, li- whose mouth speaks lies, and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song to you, O God, upon a ten-stringed harp, I will play to you, who gives victory to kings, who rescues David from his servants, who rescues David, his servant, servant from the cruel sword. Rescue me and deliver me from the hand of the foreigners, whose mouths speak lies, and whose right hand is the right hand of falsehood. May our sons and their youth be like plants full grown. Our daughters like corner pillars, cut for the structure of the palace. May our may our granaries be full providing all kinds of all kinds of produce. May our sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our fields. May our cattle be heavy with the young, suffering no mishap or failure in bearing. May there be no cry of cry of distress in our streets. Blessed are the people who to whom such blessings fall. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. Amen and amen. You know, God is our rock and our fortress. We've talked about this several times before in the previous psalm series. 
if you haven't seen it, go back and go back and, and look at the first four books I've done on the Psalms. That God is our refuge and our strength. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's not he's not he's not wringing his hands. He's not upset. That if you cry out to God, he will be your refuge and he will be your strength. How do I know that? Because he said so. God is our it says that in verse two, my shield my my shield in and he in whom I take refuge, who subdues people under me. You see, when we cry out to God, he knows exactly what he's doing. He's not gonna when you when you cry when you cry out to God, he's gonna come running to you in the blink of an eye. In the blink of an eye, he will come to you. And he will run to you and he will wrap you in his arms of love. Is is God your fortress and your rock today? Are you depending on him for everything? I hope you are. That's my prayer. I pray my prayer is that for you guys this Thanksgiving Day and not just today, but every day, is that I hope that you can I, I hope that he will be your strength and your rock and your fortress no matter what. Because if you cling to him, he'll cling to you and he will never let you go. That's my message. That's my message for you guys. Guys, if you like this video, video, you know what to do. Get a big thumbs up. Hit the wonderful subscribe button down below as well. And the notification bell, bell to get notified of all that I post. Guys, have a great day. Have a blessed Thanksgiving. God bless. And always remember, you are loved by God. Have a great day, everybody. God bless you all.